ဒီနေ့ကလက်ဆိုဘွီးသရီတွာကြမယ်ပေါ့နော်ဘွီးသရီမှာတွာဖာလုပ်မလဲဆိုတော့တွာဒီစန်ထရယ်ဗန်ပ
apa apa umi leh dah. Real real GDP suai GDP. Oh siapa leh? Nominal. GDP suai kan, nanya no ye tunggu apa apa. GDP ane biro jono ay. Atau ni GNP atau no macam ni, anan biro ay atau ni macam ni. Tuai, ini mah tuai GDP itu tuai, tuai itu tuai ni sekalau ni ada nominal GDP, kan? Amin so ini ha, ekonomi ko ye ni ye so ni so ni tiga orang ti ni, ni ye ni ye tu so ni dah first time ni orang kampung ni, kan? Ada lepas ni ni jauh biasa ni, kan? Amin so no GDP ni dah ni ni kan? Nang pun nang ni macam ni, tuh kampung mana, kan? Tuh kampung ni, tuh kampung mana belau si ni, barat ada ni tuat aku, kan? Amin, elas kah di ni amat di GDP ni orang terus ni jauh macam ni, kan? Nang pun terus jauh terus jauh jauh. Riga apa aja nari nominal nere real sebagai halu ni sih dia mien sih dia nari. Lalu kau dia pernah apa hal? Eh nominal nere real sebagai kalau awal ni, mana lo tu yang mati dah? Eh di interest rate malah nominal interest rate ni betul dah tu. Mere interest rate ko nominal lo kan nominal sebagai kalau awal ni nari tu mah mien itu khusi ya tiga. Real awal ni nari mien itu khusi ya. Lalu nak kau dia pernah apa hal? So di inflation ni, mana ko ko sih dia macam di real ni nominal, tu ada real GDP tu lah kalau nominal GDP, GDP tu kuar, tapi lo tu ada tu kuar jadi nominal GDP tu nominal GDP tu kuar, tu ada kuar jadi tu real GDP tu kuar, tu ada ada tu, elah sih pernah ramai tinggi, pernah ramai tak kuar lah tu, nampak macam oh tu dah tu beli cina lah, lah tu nominal GDP ni real GDP tu ada beli cina tu ada, tu ada GDP tu ni macam macam pun jadi tu. Jauh jangan ni ni explanation kamu kamu mana tu jangan. Macam ati itu ati itu 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 jauh macam tu. Oh ni macam mana kerja macam itu nama lesi abe. Kuku kuku alat ini macam mana. Oh dah lesi abe. Kuku kuku. Okay dah nampak alat lalu macam alat kerja macam tu lah. Okay. Dia ni ni tengah apa macam tu. Karena plus bla 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 bla. Dah tahu kan nama alat nama dia ni ko astrologi ni. Dia ni 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 siapa alat tu siapa belajar macam tu alat ini macam mana. Macam tu ini. Di di GDP ni betul betul dah, nampak macam macam ni. Tahu kong ni macam apa? Nampak macam ni. Nampak ni kalau di nominal GDP sama ke belu bla 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 di sana. Country itu kuat produksi emas kan? Nampak macam ni. 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 Namp Di kongsi ni um jah dah dah hal, saya macam tu dah berdiri jangan terlalu dah hal, nope jauh je nak puna. Real GDP jah dua di dua dua adjust inflation to reflect the real output puna. Di hal dah inflation. Okay okay okay. Di di masa ni di di nominal masa ni dua di dua di inflation ni saya macam tu dah hal puna. Real masa ni dua inflation ni saya tu dah hal. Ini nak kuli orang nak kasi ni je ni. Kalau nak orang kata nominal suai sekarang tu yang ada inflation apa awak puna. Real suai sekarang tu yang suai tu ada inflation apa terasa adjust lebih hal. Macam adjust suai sekarang apa awak buat cerita suai puna. Adjusting so aku ada ada terdua lagi dah, jadi terbi ada kulo dah. Jadi ada ni objek aja nak, orang terbi ada senarai objek. Okay, inflasi ni belajar je. Ada apa kau yang GDP belum ada terdua ni tu terbawa ni objek. Orang lalu lalu bawa ni lagi simbol. Orang lalu lagi ada ni objek ni objek aja nak. Adjustment lalu terbi ada. Ada lalu orang lalu ni sekarang ni ada terbi. Kuna di Q3 ni pernah ada objek ni objek hal. Esok tu tiada puna. Nenek siapa nama ni objek hal ini pernah di sekarang ni objek ni. Kumis ini nenek siapa? Oh, LS. Objek apa? Oh, ini. Nominator atau ada di mana dia meminat dia? Mana wadi? Kongja si dia mana wadi? Mana wadi? Kongja si dia nak belajar macam mana? Kau ni alam nak kau alam pun tu juga. Alam belajar dia macam di mana tu 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 no ada di ada ni malu lah alam belajar dong ni orang mesti ikut. Ada macam ni malu lah tu macam kalau orang si mah balas macam tu. Ya alam belajar macam aku na inflasi mana wadi dia hanya nak cari hawa. Alam ni dia belajar dia ikut. Nada dua dia hawa inflasi ni. Pemana ayah influensi dia soal itu alih kau di kau di noda dah ha kau ekonomal di bukan naun naun berita lain saya pemudi ayah influensi dia orang kau di dikit orang kacang tu a di influensi yang beri kau naun mata tu ada hamil di adjust tu dah ada hamil so dah alam kau pun hamil kau dah ni malu sekali orang alat sedih macam ni malu kau nak berapa hari berapa ada deh ni nak kau ah cenderung ni lah kau nak malu punya ada kau berapa itu lalu ah yo yo ni ada Alas ramai, tapi macam ini. Alas sekarang ni tu yang jemaah lebih. Alas sejauh ini, aku cuma alas jemaah ni pada begini sekarang ni tadi macam ini. So jemaah Saudi pun ada memang ada. Nanti tu ada kat dia. Nanti inflasi mana di di hal ini memang dah habis. Hal ini tu apa? Jemaah sekarang ni tu mungkin tu orang ramai. Nanti ada mungkin tu orang ramai. Nanti dah mulai. Sebenarnya definition sih kan sih ni, kan? Kau bawa ni. Jadi macam ini. 
ဒီကိုစ်ကိုဒီကိုစ်ကိုဒီကိုစ်ကိုဒီကိုစ်ကိုဒီကိုစ်ကိုဒီကိုစ်ကိုဒီကိုစ်ကိုဒီကိုစ
um, from, let's say, two different people, so that we have something where we can make a payment, um, person alpha and person uh, beta, okay? So that if there's a payment between alpha and beta, what this is really just is, is moving money from one account to another, or it's even just a book entry, okay? No reserves have to move at all, right? It's just, if, if everyone in the world has a deposit account at this one bank, then all you're doing is just moving stuff from one account to another, and in fact, the reserves are kind of, they don't even matter, you know? You never are moving reserves in your vault, they just stay there. The problem with a pure money system, which is what we've seen, we've seen last time, is that when you run your deposits down to zero, you're, you can't make any more purchases. Okay, you can only make purchases if you have a, if you have a positive, a positive thing, or if you're able to then borrow from somebody else who will give you a deposit account to do it. So there has to be some bilateral borrowing, possibly behind the, behind the scenes. Um, the IMF, okay, in your problem set, you'll see the IMF was set up on this model, okay that it's, there's a fixed, a fixed balance sheet size and we're just reallocate. Every now and then they expand their balance sheet in one big tranche, okay? But it's on this discipline kind of model, okay? The other one big bank model is a pure credit system, okay? Where the bank has deposit accounts, but it takes advantage of the fact that no reserves really are needed uh, to make this go. And it has, it has credit on the liability side. Uh, so uh, what am I calling these? Um, overdrafts, yes, overdrafts. Overdrafts of person gamma and of person lambda. Okay. And uh, now, depending on the pattern of payments, um, this balance sheet either expands or contracts or nothing happens at all, okay? Um, so just to see that, um, think about a matrix showing all the possible patterns of payment from alpha, beta, gamma, lambda to alpha, beta, gamma, lambda, okay? So from on this axis, and then two on this side. And you can see what happens, okay? If, well, certainly these are all zeros on this axis, okay? That if you're paying yourself, there's no change in the balance sheet, so these are just zeros. If alpha is paying beta, okay, that's also, there's no expansion of the balance sheet or contraction of the balance sheet. What we're looking to look at here is, is there a change in the aggregate money supply or in the size of the balance sheet, depending on the pattern of payments? If alpha pays beta or beta pays alpha, there's no change. Okay, so it's just the same as the pure money system. And of course, the same is true of these people over here, okay? These people with overdrafts. If somebody with an overdraft pays somebody with an overdraft, Okay, one of those overdrafts gets bigger and one of those overdrafts gets smaller. Okay, so, but overall, total overdrafts stay the same. So again, we have zero blocks here. Okay, where there's an expansion of credit happens when somebody on one side pays somebody on the other side. Okay, so just think about this. If depositor, if, if, if Mr. Alpha, okay, who has a positive deposit here, pays Mr. Gamma, okay? Deposits go down, but overdrafts also go down, right? He's, he, he's being paid, so he's paying back some of his debt to the bank, okay? So both of these go down. So if alpha is paying gamma, the money supply contracts, or rather the measured size of the balance sheet, if we think of, the, of that. Often the, the balance sheet is measured as sort of the size of the liability side or something, but the, the size of the balance sheet in general um, goes down if alpha pays Gamma. And of course, that's going to be true if it's lambda as well. And this, of course, it's going to be true if it's beta doing the paying as well. So these are all negative numbers here. But if somebody with an overdraft pays somebody with a positive deposit, the overdraft gets bigger and the deposit gets bigger, both of them. Okay. So these are all pluses. Okay. So this is just another way of saying what I said last time. Okay. But now with sort of 
balance sheets and concrete payments and more people and stuff like that, so that you can nail this a little a little more. Okay. ฮัลโหลเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ
ပိုပြီးတော့လိုကောင်းလိုနိုင်တယ်ပေါ့เนาะအဲ့လိုမျိုးဆိုအိုဗာဒရက်ဖ်စာဗီစ်ပေးတယ်ပေါ့เนาะ
There isn't, and in, in the United States in particular, there's not one big bank. There's like thousands of banks um, in the United States. In some countries, there's like five big banks or, or something like that in the UK or Canada. But in the United States, there's just lots. Okay, there's lots fewer than there used to be, by the way. Okay, you, rem you remember when we were, we were looking at Alan Young and there was like six or 7,000 banks, okay? There's fewer than that, um, but there, there's still thousands. Okay, of, of, of banks in the, in the United States. Um, some of them are very big and very important, and they're the names we, we've heard, you know, Citibank, Bank of America, those names. Um, but um, a lot of them are small banks um, or regional banks or something like that. Um, how do those banks get knit into a, a payment system that is countrywide, okay, that, that, it, that, that operates as if it were a single seamless payment system? So that anybody anywhere in the United States can pay anybody anywhere in the United States uh, if there's a mutually satisfactory uh, trade to be, to be made. That's the problem. Okay. So let's just make this a little concrete. So let's think of there being two banks. Bank A, which has deposits of Mr. Alpha and Mr. Beta. And we have bank B, with deposits of alpha and, I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> that's not, that wouldn't be very interesting, uh, uh, gamma and lambda. <coughs> I'm making these all money, money deposits, okay, not overdrafts. Um, the overdrafts I'm now going to be focusing on, okay, the credit element, is going to be interbank credit, okay, not, not, not individual payers. So we're moving from what we had last time. Last time we were talking in a, in a world which was meant to be more intuitive to you, okay, where you are trading with me, remember, okay. But in the real world, what, what the most of the important mechanics are about one bank trading with another bank, okay, they're behind the scenes, they're in the wholesale money market, okay, so that's what we're starting to get to now. And the elasticity in the wholesale money market is what provides elasticity for us in the retail money market. That's the idea. So let me just explain that. So we could organize all of this as in a money way, right, by having reserves, okay? And anytime, you know, alpha needed to pay gamma, okay, there could be a, you know, minus 10 here, minus 10 here, of reserves, there could be a plus 10 here and a plus 10 here. Okay, that's one way for alpha to pay gamma is to actually make the reserves flow. Now reserves are important. Okay, they weren't for the big, the big bank, uh, even if it was a money system. So this is kind of constrained, okay, because it may be possible, may happen, you know, unless bank A has 100% has reserves, it may happen that bank A can't make that payment. It doesn't actually have the reserves. So not only does Alpha have to have positive deposits, okay, but Bank A has to have positive reserves, okay, or else the payment. So this is not so good, okay. This is a this is this is a more of a constraint, okay. This is a less of a constraint. This is more of a constraint than the one big bank that that is that is operating on the money on the money uh, system. So banks don't generally do this, okay, within the country. Okay. ဒီဟာလေးနဲ့ပတ်သက်ပြီးဘူးပြောဝါလာဒီကကိုเนาะဘာမှာဆိုတော့ဒီမှာဆိုတော့ဒီဟာကိုရဲ့အက်ဆက
ဟာလို့ဆိုတော့ဒီဟာနဲ့ပတ်သက်ပြီးတော့ဒီလိမိတက်တာပြဲနိုင်ဒီချက်လင်းဖြစ်နေတယ်ဘူးအဲ့
And so, and then it, it, and it, and it sorts them by pay who? Not alpha, beta, gamma, lambda, but bank A, B, C, D. It just cares about the interbank. Let, you know, once it gets to bank B, let them give it to lambda. You know, let, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just paying, for me, this order to pay is an order to pay bank B. You notice on the bottom of your checks, this little tracking number, that, that's, that's what that's for. It's saying, where, which bank are we supposed to send this to? Um, and then there's an account number, and that's just the problem of your own bank. Okay, they're not, they're, they don't care about that. So bank A is collecting these, and it collects them all. I'll put a little summation sign. So due to customers of bank A, that's its own bank, okay? And do from customers of bank uh, A. And so these are people in bank A who are paying people in bank B, bank A. No problem, there's no need for reserve flows, okay? So the net, which we'll put here as a memo item over here, is gonna be zero, okay? But I'm just putting that there to start getting the idea. Keep track of other checks due to bank B. Okay, so there's, there's somebody in A who's paid somebody with an account in bank B, and that creates an obligation of bank A to pay bank B. Okay, so that you, you calculate all of these things, you add them all up, due to B, due from B, okay, due to C, due to D, do from C, do from D. Okay. And then at the end of the day, you uh, have a net. Now, some of these nets may be positive, some of these nets may be negative. Okay, there may be more payments coming in on one side and more payments coming in on, on the other, okay? The correspondent balance piece, we're gonna, we're gonna get to some, something about that positive negative thing later on with clearinghouses, but let's just do correspondent banking first. The point is this is a payment system and these banks are just used to uh, paying each other, okay? So bank A and bank B, you know, some days there's a net pay in one direction, some days there's a net pay in the other direction, there are payments going back and forth. They're used to each other, these banks are meeting at the end of the day um, and, and clearing accounts. Okay. They could clear in reserves, okay, as we, as we saw. So they're, they're doing some netting already, right, just saying, what do I owe you on net? That's good. So we're not moving reserves back and forth across the street every day, you know, that would be a pain. We're just maybe moving the net, but we can do better than that with correspondent balances, okay? Think about bank A and bank B. If they do regular business to each other, with each other, they could just swap IOUs right now. Bank A could say, well, let me just put a deposit in B in my own name my own name, not some customer, banker's balances, okay? And so that's a liability of bank B, deposit from A, to be clear what that is. And instead of making that deposit by, by transferring reserves, which would be one way, you just, you just match it with a deposit going the other way, okay? So here's a deposit, okay? Uh, in A, and here is the deposit from B. Okay. This is a swap of IOUs. You're gonna see a lot of this sort of thing in this course. This is a swap of IOUs. Bank A is saying, I owe you $1,000. Okay, Bank B is saying, no, I owe you $1,000. They both owe each other $1,000. So they've created these deposits from thin air. They're just a swap of IOUs. They've expanded their balance sheets, both of them. How can that possibly do anything? You know, there's no such thing as a free lunch. It seems like it couldn't possibly do anything, but it does, okay? Because that means that if A needs to pay B, B needs to pay B, okay? They can do it, okay, by just using their deposit in B, right? 
So one way to make a net payment here is just to draw this down. Okay. And uh, if we need to, you know, have, so here's the deposit of, of <coughs> Lambda. Okay. So to transfer $10 from, from uh, Alpha to Lambda, okay, it just involves crediting Lambda's account here and debiting Alpha's account here, okay, <coughs> and you're debiting this one, okay? So you're debiting this account here, you're debiting this, so the bank A's balance sheet shrinks in this, in this model here, and bank B's balance sheet stays the same, okay? Because it's just swapping an, an IOU uh, from A for an IOU from Lambda. So it's just moving between accounts. So one way to make, and, and no reserves need to travel. This is the point. No reserves need to travel. So if, if there's a, a balance that fluctuates from day to day, okay, you can just sort of keep track of it by, with these deposits here in this, in this way. Okay, okay. Now consider what if we do only two bank, the bank who is here, no? If someone with account is bank, bank in my share, they are a no? Make when I make payment to bank, we bank because I'm paying as we in a behind or lowest cost option, similar to what you're doing now, no? Behind lower cost, similar to what you're doing now, no? Blah 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 blah. This one, of person, borrowing by me. One each bank transfer, but you go by bank. No, instead of transferring from each other, we each bank call it due to and due from, and we do this every bank every day at the end of the day. That do be a matter of not. For example, to bank B, uh, we shrink uh, balance sheet of A and expand balance sheet of B. Mhm. Mm that go reserve back to the reserve. We must don't due from the hallo don't let the cheap drop matter. Go let's put the mouse on. Now let's go. No, I'm hoping to have one, but you're going to have to do it. And I'm going to have to do it. 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 Uh-huh. But you're going to have to do it. Is it? Each bank can trust, but you're going to have to do it. By transferring corresponding ballot bank, it can be bank B by drawing ballot. Oh, I'm going to have to do it. 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 In the in the first case, that to the deposit including interbank balance were for one. The later case, that the deposit including interbank balance were right for no. Okay. Di hal dia lah. Let's do di hal tian lah. Mabil do di hal tian pabil do madiu lah. So anda tu dulu tu. Anu lo cincu pabil lah. Ni sejati ni awal lah. Okay lah. In in this way of banking, we will lost uh all amount all the advantages of banking since this is no. So iya dia lah mamale bo. Nampak dia mamale so ini. Kalau dah ini tak ada tu mesti soal mana. Di mana dah ada kalau dua bank ia terus berusaha atau bank berusaha lalu yang lalu dia soal mana. We will lose all of the advantage of banking system mana. Ada jawab mulu boleh jawab jadi na. Since it is almost if people are making payment with gold reserve, that's the better way. Mana di sini kau nak mesti ada siapa. So ini dia orang lelaki reserve kasih dia siapa dia tu mana. Dia nak show ini lelaki tu mesti siapa. Orang makan apa. Orang di sini kau nak mesti ada siapa. Orang apa tu dia. Dia mesti ada apa? We all this is this clearly involve less gold transfer than the first system, but that's a better way. Dia ada emas so. Di sini ada kau no kau no mana jutu ni jutu pun ada. Emas pro dia risa ni kau no lah. Dia risa orang bade ya. Boleh lah. Oh, dia dia ada better second system, better second time. Emas ni risa dia pade. Emas dia ada di tengah system ada the transferring risa pade. Ada risa ni lah. Emas risa kau dah 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 that's one way mm -hmm. to make the to make this happen. Okay, there's another way though to swap about use. Okay, there's another way. Uh, okay, again, we need to somehow move this. You know, this this Alpha's account is getting debited by ten. Lambda's account is getting is getting credited by ten. What other way could we do it? Another way is we could increase the deposits here, increase the liabilities of bank A to B, okay? Increase the liabilities here, okay? In this case, this balance sheet plus 10 minus 10 doesn't move. This balance sheet expands, right? So there's two different possibilities, two different ways 
to alpha to pay beta, um, alpha to pay, to pay lambda, two different ways. One, one is by a shrinking of the balance sheet of the, of the debtor bank. The other is by an expansion of the balance sheet of the creditor bank. Two different, lo these are just logical possibilities right now. Both of them are involving credit, okay? Which one gets picked? Okay. In the correspondent banking system, quite typically, there's a hierarchy of banks, okay? And the big powerful city banks, you know, in the, in the urban centers say, uh, you know what? I don't really have any reason to put deposits in you, little country bank. You put a deposit in me, okay? And you pay me in reserves, maybe up front, um, or I'll lend you the money or something, and you pay me money for this. Um, but we will use my deposits as clearing, as clearing balances. Thank you very much. Okay. And so there's a hierarchy there, okay, that it, that it is going to be, that, and that's, you can see how that's a, a discipline thing. It's a discipline thing for the debtor bank, right? That the, de the, the, the bank that's in the countryside basically has to have an account with, a, with an urban bank in order to join the payment system, okay? And it has to maintain deposits there. Okay. If it runs out, there's no guarantee that Bank B is going to expand its balance sheet and help it out. Okay. It might, but it might charge extra for this and, and, and so forth. This is the hierarchy of, of, of money showing up in the, in the payment system. These balances here, these bank balances are called correspondent balances. And they make the the system work much more like the ideal uh, one big bank operating on a credit, a credit system. The expansion or contraction okay, depends on the arrangements between the banks. The retail customer has no idea about this. It's all behind the scenes. From the retail customer's point of view, it's all the same. ဟုတ်ပါပြီဒီဟာလေးတော့နောက်ဒီဒီဗီဒီယံပြီးမှာပြန်မြောက်သွားကြတာပေါ့နော်အဲ့ဒါမှာတော့ဒီဗီဒီ